All right, so today we're gonna to talk about baking in an RV, camper, whatever you wanna call it. Um, a lot of people say you can't do it. It just kind of burns your food in the middle and it doesn't cook on the outsides and all that. I'm gonna show you a really quick, simple, cheap trick to make it so you can bake in your camper or RV, whatever you wanna call it. And we are gonna make some cookies today. All right, so this is all you have to do. Um, you just have to get a pizza stone and put it in there right on this plate which will be in between the actual burner itself and what you're gonna cook on. Um, the pizza stone just heats up from the flames and disperses the heat more evenly. I'm sure you can get them from some other stores and stuff too. Amazon has one that fits in there just about perfect and it's square, it works great. Um, so that's all you have to do is get a pizza stone. It's less than 20 bucks and then you can bake and it kind of works almost like a regular oven. Usually you gotta turn it up just a little hotter and if you hear noise in the background somebody is feeding her goat graham crackers so anyways to light the oven is a little tricky too if you've never lit one before it seems really confusing and that kind of stuff um, there it's not an auto light pilot so just to light your oven let me show you how to do that so on your oven knob we're gonna turn it to the light the little flame and we're going to hold it in for probably about a good 30 seconds or so. Maybe not quite 30, but give it a good 10, 15 count. And then with your other hand, you will turn this knob to light it and you'll see a spark in there. And if it doesn't light, then you just have to hold this down, down for a few more seconds. And then once the pilot is lit, hold it down for a few more seconds. And if you take your hand off of this knob here, so you're not pressing that in and the pilot stays lit, you're good to go to turn it on. So this is so this is the issue people say there's only one burner in these little ovens so it would how it starts off if you didn't have the pizza stone this would actually cook really fast in the center and out towards the sides would cook really slow so the pizza stone takes the heat disperses it and it works a lot better I've made biscuits cookies everything in it before and they come out perfectly fine no burning no nothing just like a regular oven. So after the stove is lit, let it kind of preheat for a couple minutes. It really doesn't take long to preheat. Um, like I said, like these cookies, sorry, they're not like made from scratch, but these work just as well. Um, it says preheat to 350. I usually turn it up a little bit more than that um, to get them to cook. So I'm gonna do it at like 450. So sometimes you gotta use more heat than what they say. It's a little tiny small oven but they do come out fine. Another tip and trick is your cookie pan. I like to line it with foil. I know it's wasteful, but there's no cleanup afterwards. All I do is throw out the foil and I start eating my cookies. And there we have it, perfectly cooked cookies out of a little RV oven. So baking is possible. You just need that stone in there and you just need to just temperature and time a little bit. Other than that, you're good to go. So just throw the stone in, keep an eye on it and you can have fresh baked cookies.
Is your goat hungry, Blythe? No. He's full? His tummy's full? What went down?